here, commissioners. Um, Supervisor Ronan um, would have loved to be here herself, but she's in the board meeting, and I'll unfortunately have to run, run back down as well um, shortly. But I just wanted to share a letter that Supervisor Ronan has, has written for you all and would love to hand out to all of you and just read it into the record right now. Great. Um, so from Supervisor Hillary Ronan, dear MTA commissioners, I am writing to share my support for the overnight parking ban for oversized vehicles in the Portola being proposed today. This ban would apply to the four streets that surround the perimeter of the University Mound Reservoir, Felton Street, Bowden Street, Wolseley, and University Street. While I am supporting the ban today, I am also clear that we as a city have failed to come up with a comprehensive solution to the tragedy of vehicular homelessness. The latest city count shows that more than 400 individuals and families sleep in their cars and RVs on San Francisco city streets each night, often one step away from losing their vehicle and sleeping on the sidewalk. For years, the city's approach to this issue has been to ban oversized vehicles on streets where there have been complaints without any overarching city policy. It is, in fact, the proliferation of these bans all over the city that has led to the situation that we currently have in the Portola, where streets around the reservoir are inundated with 20 to 30 RVs each night. It's simply unfair that this small group of Portola neighbors has to bear the brunt of the crisis of vehicular homelessness and the city's ineffective response to this crisis. I did not come to this decision to support the ban lightly. For the past many months, I have looked for alternative ways to address the problem. I have worked closely with MTA, the Department of Homelessness, and SFPD to explore how to keep this area clear from the many RVs that have become accustomed to parking along the reservoir. I have also attempted to work on a comprehensive legislative solution to vehicular homelessness with Supervisor Valley Brown, who will be introducing legislation today that will require the city to pilot a vehicular navigation center program. While I do support the pilot, it is estimated, in speaking with various city agencies, to serve only 30 RVs and car dwellers at a time at a maximum, nowhere near the capacity that we will need. I will therefore be introducing amendments to this legislation. Unhoused residents living in their vehicles deserve to feel safe and should be navigated into services, benefits, and hopefully more dignified housing options. We need real comprehensive solutions to this issue of vehicular homelessness. Thank you very much, and please thank, thank the supervisor for sending along those comments, which were obviously very clear and helpful. 